Hey guys, this is Graham from 613 Equipment Rentals. I'm here with my business partner from the excavation side, uh, Ottawa West Excavation. This is Matt. We're going to do a quick video, uh, a how to operate uh, the John Deere 26G. So if you're a new user or you've never rented a piece of equipment before, you kind of know what to navigate or how to use it before you take possession of the, uh, the rented equipment. And uh, it'll just be a super basic intro. Okay, so we have the 26G uh, G here. This machine weighs 5,700 pounds, excuse me. It's equipped with a ditching bucket and I'll show you how to swap it out to the, the digging bucket once, we're, uh, once we go over some other stuff. First thing you'll do is you'll enter the cab and I'm just gonna get you over to come, come to this side, Matt. Yep. So before you use the machine when it's cold, what you'll do is you'll turn the key over to the left and you'll hold in that position for about five seconds. This will heat up the glow plugs. And now that we're good to go, we can turn the key over, let the machine warm up. Put the throttle in the green section right here. That's the startup throttle amount that the machine calls for. And turn the key over. I'm just gonna go over the uh, controls real quick. First thing you'll wanna know is that this lockout stick when it's in the up position the machine will not operate so if you bump any controls uh, you don't need to be afraid that you're going to hit something accidentally when you press it all the way down your functions are live okay so that's one thing that's really important to know this is our bucket control here left and right on the right joystick we're presently in excavator operating uh, mode this is your boom up boom down to turn the machine left and right that's with your left handle and to push the stick forward push forward on the uh, joystick and bring it back your thumb it's on the right joystick in and out the next thing you want to know is your dozer blade. Matt will just have you come over a bit closer. So again, your thumb, if you can see it from the distance, is right here. Your thumb control, your dozer stick, or your dozer blade control. I'm just going to turn the machine around. So we're all the way up. The dozer stick is right here, just to the right of the joystick, the right joystick. And what this does, it controls your dozer blade. up and down and then like most other excavators your track controls you can either use the pedals if you have a bit more experience you may be familiar with them if you don't honestly just use your hands to travel back forth right and left Now, I just want to talk about something. It's harder on the tracks and har harder on the machine if you turn in the same spot. It's better to make a gradual turn, but sometimes you can't do that. After using the machine for a while, you may accumulate um, gravel and rocks. And one of my customers actually recommended I provide some feedback on this. If you find your tracks are full of crap and you're hearing crunching, you can take the boom and drop it down, raising that one track. And what you can do is spin it freely back and forth, clearing any debris that may cause the track to come off or wear the, uh, the gears thin. So that's just a handy little tip. And you can just drop the excavator back down. Alrighty, um, should be wearing your seatbelt. This will save you if you tip the machine over and you get flung out. So you don't get crushed by the actual excavator. You can tip, they're small excavators. And it, when you're on uneven ground, it can be treacherous from time to time if you're unfamiliar with that kind of terrain. I wanna talk about the uh, boom angle swing. There's a pedal right here on the ground, Matt. Left and right so you can kind of get play with your angles and uh, and work it that way
left and right. I'll bring you over to the uh, controls right here, Matt, if you can bring the camera over. Your throttle stick, super easy. Adjust it here. Rabbit mode or bunny mode, you can depress it. What this will do is it'll allow you to travel from point A to B faster. So if you gotta go from one end to, of a work site to another and you wanna get there in a hustle, depress bunny mode and you got twice as much tracking speed. There's no horn and this uh, excavator is equipped with one halogen light over here. If you're working a bit late into the evening, you can turn it on. So I'm just gonna show you how to change the pattern controls if you're, uh, if you're not one to operate in excavator mode. So Matt, just come over here. You take the key for the excavator, turn it over. And as you can see, it says backhoe and excavator controls. You just turn the switch to backhoe pattern and off you go, lock it back up. I'll leave it on excavator mode. The other thing, uh, you'll be doing as a new renter or any renters, I'll ask you to refill the machine for me. So I'll show you how to do that. The fuel tank here on the John Deere is located on the right side. Just press the button. There's a lockout mechanism here and diesel. There's stickers that say diesel only. It's a diesel machine. Fill it up full and you're done. To drop this back down, you just press up, press the, uh, the hinge back in and let it close. That's all you should know as a, as a renter for the most part. The last component I'm gonna talk about is the bucket swap, which you'll wanna do. And then you'll have basic, a basic uh, how-to video with regards to how to operate the uh, 26G. Alrighty, so last thing I'm gonna show you is how to swap the bucket out. Just make sure you have an adjustable wrench. This is a 12 inch, a 10 inch will be fine. I'll bring you over to the bucket. If I can just have you pan over here, Matt. Uh, this is like the Kubota video that we have on our website. There's this locking pin here and this through bolt, uh, threaded bolt that's gonna keep everything in place. And there's two additional pins, which we'll take out. We will take out the uh, bolt right here. And it's already loose, but we'll use this guy just to get on it. Okay, so I've just lowered the bucket to the ground because I don't want it falling on my toes or crushing my hands. So that's the best practice. Just put your bucket, lower, lower it onto the ground so it doesn't have any chance of injuring you. Not as convenient for your back, but who cares? Better to be safe than sorry. So we're gonna finish unthreading it. Take the pin out, keep it in the same orientation if it makes it easier for you. And we're gonna swap it out for the uh, digging bucket. So I'm using the right joystick and feathering it to the right for this first maneuver. And then I'm just gonna pull it out of the groove. And I'm gonna bring it back to the digging bucket. And then from here, set it back on the ground. And I'll put the pin back in. Keep these grooves face up. And basically you just keep threading it until it's tight, give her a good uh, taut wrenching and uh, put the two pins through. And that's it. That's all you should know as a basic renter. I mean, watch YouTube videos on to, as to how to operate excavators safely. Those are also very uh, useful if you've never uh, been behind one of these. But the whole purpose of this video is simply to equip a new renter uh, with regards to the controls and how to fam be familiar with those controls for a 26G or the Kubota KX040 or the Caterpillar 301.7 and so on. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, this is Graham from 613 Equipment Rentals. See you on the next one.